If you're a beginner and you want to use cold email to get clients, then you're in the right place because cold email lead generation is one of my favorite ways to drive new sales. If you want to grow your business and do it on a budget, then I highly recommend you consider cold email as a go-to strategy. For example, this brand, LeadFuse, used cold email to grow their company to over $30,000 a month in just 12 months. Now, this strategy is amazing because it can work for almost any kind of business out there. Whether you're an accountant, a course seller, a software founder, or any other kind of business that has higher ticket products or tip products that have a high lifetime customer value, meaning that when you land a new customer, it's really valuable for you, then I strongly believe cold email has a role in every business like that, in every niche market, every kind of business. We're gonna dive more into that on how, what kind of businesses should be using cold email. And so if you're not already doing this, you're missing out on a lot of revenue. So oh, let's get into it. Now, the first thing we need to figure out before we start sending cold email is actually something I don't see a lot of people talking about. So there's people that really advocate sending cold email, but you have to do your setup right. And that means finding out how many emails you wanna send a day and then get your setup correctly from the start. So I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do that. But first, I wanna define more clearly what cold email is, just in case you might not fully understand. So cold email is when you're gonna reach out to a targeted list of people, usually their companies. So if you're doing services or products for businesses, this works particularly well. So you may have a list of businesses and their email addresses. Well, you're gonna reach out in a personal way, cold, meaning they didn't previously interact from you, they didn't fill out a form on your website, you went out and you found this list of targeted businesses, and one by one, you're gonna email them with a customized invitation to be able to learn, you know, an offer where you can help them with something. Now, this is different than what we'll say is spam. Spam would be you get a massive bulk list and you blast it with a generic message. That is not what we're doing here. This is where you have a way to help that business and you're gonna be reaching out to them cold through email and finding out if it's something that you can help them with. When you're gonna use cold email, you need to set up a new domain name. You do not wanna use your primary business domain name. So let's say you already have your website, you already have your main business brand, you don't wanna use that domain name to do your cold email campaigns. So you can find another domain maybe you've registered in the past or make a brand new one. Let's say your brand is, um, I don't know, Phone Wizard. You know, I might make a new domain name that's like phone, Get Phone Wizard or Start Phone Wizard or some variation of your brand and create a separate domain that you're gonna be using for this campaign. If you did that and then you just started firing off hundreds or thousands of emails right off the bat, you're gonna end up in spam and you're gonna get your whole thing shut down and you're gonna get banned before you see any progress at all. Now there's a very important series of things that you need to do. You need to get this straight in order to set up your stuff properly before you ever even send your first email. Now, number one, you wanna find out how many messages you wanna send per day. We'll say you wanna send 300 emails per day out to invite different companies. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is divide that number of emails by 150. So in this case, if I wanted to send 300 emails a day, I would divide that by 150. Well, that's how many domain names you need. You can't just load up on one domain and blast out thousands and thousands of emails. We need to send about 150 emails per unique domain name that you purchase and set up. Now, setting up the domain name is easy. You can just go to your favorite domain registrar, whether that's Namecheap, GoDaddy, wherever it is that you might be registering domains and you just register the domain. Now, if you have old domains that have been registered in the past, you can use them. Just make sure they're not your primary of brand domain name. At this point, you're gonna then set up three email accounts per domain name. So you'll just go in and buy the, the GoDaddy services or buy the services off your domain registrar. Or you can go to Google. Google actually offers email services. And this can be cheap. Some of them are as little as 50 cents a mailbox. Others can be as much as five, six, even $7 a mailbox. You just find a service, any old service that will 
to help you have business email. Once you've got that set up, then the next step is to warm up those domain names. So think about this. If you just registered a brand new domain name and set up a new email address and you just start blasting out cold email, places like Google, Gmail, you know, Hotmail, Yahoo, they don't trust you. They will look at a brand new email, brand new domain name they've never seen before. They will be suspicious until you prove yourself. So you can actually hire a service to do this for you. Personally, I recommend a service called Warm Up Inbox. And I'll put a link to that into the description below where you can sign up. It's an affiliate link. We'll get paid a small commission. And the link for that is pushbutton.ai slash warmup. Pushbutton.ai slash warmup. So here's Warm Up Inbox. And what they actually do is that they will, will stimulate, basically, that your mailbox is legitimate, right? They will email on your behalf and actually help you achieve trust with the different email providers. So what they're gonna do is they'll send emails out, they'll respond back to your emails. If they go into spam, they'll move them out of spam. But basically they make a bunch of engagement and they show a track record of your new domain name and your new email addresses being used. So it will warm them up. And this service is incredibly valuable for a brand new domain, a brand new mailbox. This is an affiliate link but it is the exact same service. I am personally using this service, so I highly recommend it. It's affordable, it works great, and they also have a free seven-day trial that you can find out about. Again, if you go to that link, pushbutton.ai slash warmup, and that's where you can go. Jump in, get a seven-day trial there. Now, you let that warm-up process go for two weeks. So for two full weeks, do not send any cold emails. Just let the warm-up process do its thing, kick up your feet, go off, do something else, and then come back in two weeks, and then you can start using these new emails. So once your emails are warmed up, you wanna be careful because you can't overwhelm it. You can't set up a brand new thing and then just start blasting out thousands of emails. So you wanna start off low and gradually increase your volume. And if you ramp up too quickly, you can end up getting where your emails go into spam. So in the beginning, you should start out just sending 10 emails per day Per mailbox and you're just gonna send an email to your prospects you do more than no more than 10 emails per day and we're gonna talk about the content of how you write those in just a moment and then slowly you ramp up you can get to sending 50 per day per mailbox usually start at 10 ramp up to 50 emails per day per mailbox and then if you need to send more volume you just register new domain names, set up new email addresses and expand that way. But I would say cap out at absolute maximum, no more than 100 emails per mailbox. That's 100 cold emails that you're sending per mailbox. So now doing all this technical stuff that we just went over, it's really important. It's easy, it is very easy to do. You don't need to know tech stuff. You just go to the services, you know, buy your domain at, at GoDaddy or Namecheap pay for the email add-on services and, and do the setup process. It's very simple. It's not hard to do, to do, and it's important that you do this setup right. It's the key to you being successful. So it's just as important as the sequence. So we're gonna talk about what do you actually write in the emails and send out to get clients. It's important, but the setup is just as important as what you actually say in the emails. If you don't do this setup right, you're never gonna be successful. So now your setup is complete. Now you need to collect leads. Now there are a number of websites that you can go to to what they call scrape leads. I recommend a tool. This is because I bought this business. I now own, I currently own this business. It's called Lead Carrot. And you can go to leadcarrot.io. And again, we can pop a link to that down below. That is my business, but I do recommend it. And what it will do is it will help you find businesses that are currently on Google Maps. So if they have a presence as in the Google My Business profile, they've got a presence in Google Maps, you can find them and it will get all of their information. It will get their address, their phone number, their email addresses, and all the data you need to be able to do a cold outreach campaign. Again, that's leadcarrot.io. We'll pop the link in the description down below. And then after you've gathered your list of leads, the next thing that you need to do is you need to clean that list up. When you have extracted a list like that, what you will find is that there will be email addresses that are like generic 
boxes that maybe just don't, nobody ever answers. Or they might be email addresses that don't work anymore. They're actually bad email addresses. So now you want to clean them. There's a cleaning, there's several cleaning services that you can use. I use a service called Impression Wise, but it tends to be for larger volume. Here is Lead Carrot. So this is Lead Carrot here. So you can come over to Lead Carrot and you can grab a whole lot of leads in just about any type of business that you would want to find. So if you want to get business leads for use in cold outreach or telemarketing campaigns or any other purpose, Lead Carrot is great for that. Now, when it comes to email cleaning, here's some services. We've got neverbounce.com. You got zerobounce.net is another example. We've got email listverify.com. And of course, I use a service called ImpressionWise that, that tends to be for larger volume lists, but there are some examples of where you would go for email list cleaning. So now you have a clean lead list. You've got your email accounts set up and now we're gonna start sending emails. So what do you say? What do you put in your email campaigns? Well, your objective is, again, we're not like blasting shotgun approach to thousands and thousands of people with a generic message and saying, hey, click this link and go buy this thing. Instead, we're gonna send emails that is asking them to reply back if they're interested. Let's say for an example, I might send an email to a dentist saying, hey, Mr. Dentist, I saw that you do such and such cosmetic surgeries. I would love to help you get leads for your dental business. Reply back and let me know if that's something you're interested in. That's it. You just want to get a reply. You want to reply back. Once they reply, now you can sell to them. Let's say the dentist comes back and says, yes, I would love more clients like that. And I could say, awesome. Well, let's jump on a call and I'll show you how I can help you. Here's a link to go schedule an appointment, right? Right to my calendar. Or maybe you've got a video sales letter or you want the, you want to get on the phone and call them, but whatever your sales process is, you now follow up with everybody who replies back. The goal of cold email is not to push out a link and blast everyone with a sales message. You do want to make them an offer. You do want to be very clear that you want to help them and how you can help them personally, but you want to reply. If you blast links out, you're going to end up in spam. And then even if you do get inboxed, most people aren't going to just click on a random link somebody sent me to, to just go buy something. Instead, let them know concisely and clearly how you can help them personally. I want very specific types of people that I know specifically how I can help them. And then I'm going to communicate to that. Cold email is generally not a good thing if you're selling low ticket, cheap stuff. This is a strategy for landing high ticket deals. So if when you land a client, you know you're gonna make a lot of money from that client, whether it's like immediately they're gonna spend a thousand, two thousand, ten thousand dollars, or if you know when you land a client, you know, over time you're gonna make a substantial amount of money, then this strategy is perfect. Now you also need to know that there's one thing that separates cold email from spam. That is personalization bulk blasting the same generic email to thousands of people that you don't have a relationship with, it's that's straight up spam. And that's not good, you don't wanna do that, and it's not gonna be effective. But if you write tailor-made emails to be personalized to the recipients, so that you know how you can personally help each prospect, now you're sending legitimate business communication. There is a difference. So this is what an email sequence might look like. You might start out, generally what I would do is send a five email sequence. You can do that over the course of anywhere from five to seven days. And I would start out by making a strong introduction at the beginning and letting them clearly know how you can help them. So you wanna introduce whatever problem that they're experiencing that you can help them solve, whatever goals that they want to achieve, how you can help them achieve them. You want to be short, simple, and direct. Saying, I can help you with X. In fact, I guarantee that I'm going to do Y. Would you be interested in this? Reply back and let me know. That simple. You don't want to load it full of content. You don't want to make it complicated. You don't want to make it long, simple, short, direct, and powerful. You want to make it a powerful introduction in terms of how you can help that person. Email two, you're gonna just follow up on that. Email three, you follow up again. Email four, you might now get a little bit more into hard sell. Maybe for example, if you have a guarantee, maybe the first two times, you th three times you don't talk about it, and then on email four, maybe there is where you introduce, you know, not only do I know that I can help you get more leads, or I know I can help you 
with this particular problem, but I guarantee it. Would you like to find out how I would do it, you know, and reply back? And then finally, the fifth one is actually a withdrawal. So you're gonna say, you know, hey, I've been reaching out. I don't know if I said something wrong or if I offended you, but this is my last email to you. Reply back if you're interested. And then that's it. And this, the sequence ends after five emails, then the campaign is done to that one lead. So you're gonna wanna send five emails like this in that sequence to every single lead on that list. Now there's a few ways to do this. There are tools that you can set up to help you send mail. You can use outsourced people to actually do this by hand is another way to do it. And one thing I wanna tell you is I can't give you an exact template, right? If I gave you a template, then if everybody started using that template, it's gonna end up being marked as spam. And besides that, then it really is spam. If I just give everyone, hundreds of people or thousands of people a template, they're just gonna be blasting out to people, that's spam. So you wanna personalize your unique offer, your unique situations, how you can help that individual person. And that's really what separates it. And that's what gets your results. So I can't give you a template, but that's the basic overview. Now, emails that you send out like this are gonna look different from one offer to another. Now, if you're interested in not a template, but a framework, if you'd like more details on what to put in this email campaign, let me know in the comments down below. So you can pop into those comments and let me know what kind of business you're in. And if you would like more details on how to structure a campaign, how to write a campaign, I'm not gonna be able to give you templates that you can copy and paste, but I will give you a framework if there's enough interest I'll give you the exact framework on how do you put this together. There are some ways to use AI to do this. I can talk about that as well, if there's enough interest. So let me know in the comments down below if that's something you're interested in and what kind of businesses you want to reach out to. I can make that on a future video. Now, out of all the emails in this sequence, the intro is actually the most important part. Your intro email is what determines whether the prospect's gonna pay attention or not. So if you can't grab their attention, then the rest of the sequence is gonna kind of miss the mark. Don't forget that cold email is all about opening the door, making a big impression so that the person receiving your emails clearly understands that you want to help them, they understand how you can help them, and they understand why they should pay attention to you. You wanna get that message, that impact across in these messages. You're not trying to sell them to get them to buy. You don't tell them pricing, you don't tell them features, you don't go into the details. It's just purely, simply, how do you help them? Why should they talk to you and get them to reply back? So ask an open-ended question and find out if they would like help with what you can help them with. After the reply, your unique sales process is what's important. And so some of you might have book a call funnels where you want people to book in your calendar. Some of you might have webinars. Some of you might have video sales letters. Some of you might wanna just jump on the phone. So whatever your unique sales process is, now you follow up with that and you can begin doing your selling. Now, a couple of things I wanna to cover too, is as you're doing this, you need to pay attention to what emails are working. You might find out as you're sending emails that the third email in your sequence is doing really well. It always gets replies. Well, you wanna zero in and look what's different about email number three. What is getting you more replies? Is it a different subject line? Is it something you said about your offer? Did you use more personalization? Figure it out what you're doing in the emails that are working the best and then improve your whole sequence by what you learn. Because you will see trends. You will see that one particular email in the sequence is gonna do better than the others. And you can learn a lesson from that and improve the whole rest of your campaign. The other thing you wanna be watching out for is if you start spam boxing all the time, where you're just not getting into the inbox, you might wanna back off and slow down the number of emails that you're sending, let the warm up tool kind of rewarm up your domain, or you might want to start spinning up new domains and new mailboxes because that can change over time, especially if while you're figuring out what to say in your emails. If you're getting a lot of spam complaints, you will get a lower reputation. You will start showing up in people's junk or their spam boxes. And then you want to reestablish, rewarm that reputation or start a whole new domain name and just keep on going. And that's really it. So you'll learn from what works. You pay attention to your performance degrading or you're not inboxing and you just keep emailing more and more people. And that's how you grow on that front. Now, if you had value from this, I wanna ask you for a favor. Tap that like button that you see down below. It sends a signal to YouTube that this content was useful and they'll show it to other people. It'll help me, it'll help the channel, and I'll be forever grateful 
for that like. And also, if you're an entrepreneur who wants to grow your business, maybe you're starting your first business or you wanna grow your existing business, we do content like this all the time, all throughout the week, every week. If you like more of that, then click the subscribe button that you'll see down below. We're building an awesome community of entrepreneurs around this channel. And I can't wait to see you in being part of it. On that note, I wanna thank you for spending some time with me here. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. So for those of you who are not yet a push button AI customer, then you need to check this out. And all you need to do is go to pushbutton.ai slash demo, pushbutton.ai slash demo, and you can get a live one-on-one -on -one appointment to get on Zoom and see this powerful technology in action. And with Pushbutton AI, it will build an entire business from bottom to top, everything you need from your domain name to your logo, to videos, to audio lessons, an entire course that you can sell as your own, a 30 day email sequence and it writes, you can send a daily email for 30 days, all written by AI and a whole lot more. It writes your sales page. If you're not sure how to write an expert sales page to convince people to buy stuff, it writes it for you. It writes a free report that you can give away to get subscribers to your list. It even creates and writes the opt-in subscription page to get people to subscribe to get the free report. And it goes on and on and on. It even writes your first 10 blog posts for you and it can do so much more. Social media posts, ads, all of these things are done and all you have to do is answer a couple of questions and push a button. Now, Push Button AI is not available to the public at the time of recording this video. And the only way to get in is by invite to our behind the scenes beta access. And during your live demo, we'll show you the technology. We'll actually work with you to actually map out an entire course that you could sell as your own. We'll outline the course with you together on the one-on-one -on -one Zoom call. And then if you so decide, if you're a good fit, you can come in, join our Push Button AI beta program and be in business with that very course by the next day. Go to pushbutton.ai slash demo to figure out if this powerful technology is right for you. You can register there. there you'll book an appointment in the calendar. Be sure you show up. Our team will be very excited to meet you and show you how the tech works, outline your new course for you, and hopefully it's a fit and we can work together to launch your next business.